So in this video, we will be installing our first Elastic Excel cluster. And as you can see within the management station, I already have a cluster here that is currently red and it's offline. And that's a cluster Excel cluster. So as I said in the previous video, you're not able to upgrade to an Elastic Excel. You need to do a clean install, a fresh install. So what I have done is more or less prepped the boxes to have R82 images on them. And honestly, this was a bit tricky because if you have an existing R81 or R81.20 cluster, it's not like you can factor reset it to R82. Yes, you can install it with like a USB memory. You can install it over ILO. But if you, for example, do a blink image, um, and do a clean install over a blink image, it will not work. Uh, I tried. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, because then it will keep it as a cluster Excel member. But if you do a clean install um, from, from the Gaia portal, you will get up the box and you will get the first time wizard. So what I will do here firstly is I will just remove this cluster. So first we will check where it's used. Is it used somewhere? It's used within the policy. Okay, so let's go to the policy and just remove this. Have it any for now. Um, so this obviously doesn't work and try to delete it and see if we are able to hopefully we are so we were able to delete this cluster and i'm actually going to just install the database on the management station so we are well so we are all set so we don't get any any interference or anything like that um i fixed these boxes using um the lom interface or the or the ilo um because then i'm able to attach media it takes a long time to install it over that it goes faster over usb or if you do it with a clean installation when the image is already on the box anyway so this is how it looks um, this is as default for the management port and I believe I have the management port to my management station according to the same design as I did have before. So um, admin admin. So this is the first time with sub configuration checkpoint first time with sub <laughs> checkpoint first time configuration we said. Oof. Next, and we want to continue with the R82 configuration, and I'll zoom in just a smudge, maybe. Can I? I guess like this. So, password to log in to um, admin. Maintenance mode, if you're trying to boot up the box in maintenance mode. This password should not be the same. It's not recommended. Uh, of course, it's recommended to have a strong password. Uh, mine was not. <laughs> and then we have the management interface. And this is correct. And we are going to be our own uh, management in this case. So I'm actually having the management station behind the management port. And there is where I have my um, VM for uh, controlling this environment as well. So next, and we have internet. And I will put in uh, some IP addresses. So we actually have internet here. Uh, we should, of course, put in default gateway then as well. And it will be on this network. 
Ah, it did go away. Oh. So that's how we're going to have it. This is something I will show you <laughs> later. So I will just call this central. And I will have primary DNS server uh, for Google. And I think it's 4.22. So, this cluster will be called central, but Checkpoint actually add additional information to the cluster name when you have it like this. I will show you what I mean. So, central is what I have put in myself. And we will go with manual for now. And here we have the first... The third thing that is new for R82. So this will be an Elastic Excel cluster. So you see here you can pick Elastic Excel, Cluster Excel and VRRP cluster. So the existing one that, that you have been running for, for years I suspect is Cluster Excel. So Cluster Excel is more or less, it's not really true, but it's more or less HA. So you have one active node and one standby node. That's like the standard Cluster Excel meaning you use 50% of the hardware. Elastic Excel is more of a maest maestro light, meaning you have an active, active, and actually active box. And if you're going to have VS Next, meaning VSX, this is something that you need to install from start. So here, if you want to have VS Next, you need to put this from beginning. Uh, in this course, we're not looking into VSX. VSX is a virtualization of firewalls, meaning you have a cluster with multiple members, up to three. These act as one gateway. On this gateway, you can have virtualized smaller gateways, and they are completely independent from each other. They have own routing table and all, all of that. So it's really cool. And before this was called VSX, and now it's called VS Next. And VS Next requires Elastic Excel. So if you're going to try this or have this, you need to clean install your boxes with Elastic Excel and add VS Next from start. But as I said, in this one, it's Elastic Excel uh, without VSX, and it's on appliances. So next. So the SIG key is um, a one-time password to connect to the management station. Now it will install the security gateway part and appliance will need to be activated automatically. Okay, nice. Yes, we want to continue. So let's see how this works. As I said, this is more or less the first time I do it in my own lab, at least. So hopefully it works, <laughs> but we will see. So the box will be rebooted. Okay, so the box has rebooted. So let's try to log in. This is the new box. And this is the new view of the Gaia portal. So the first thing that we notice is of course the platform has changed. And also here we have central S01 and 01. So S is more or less site and 01 is the box, meaning the first box. So this is the SMO. It's it's like the like the orchestrator. Maybe someone from some checkpoint complains on this, but um, the first box is more or less the one that you connect to 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 manage everything like this, and it's also the one that decides who the traf where the traffic should go. So we see here that we have cluster management. We have no pending gateways. I think this is 
a bit strange that we don't have any pending gateways because we have one box here that is clean installed that is um, connected how it's supposed to be but maybe we need to reboot it i don't know we will see we have the interfaces so we see here that we have um ethernet one this is our internet interface we see here that we have an interface that is called mag one and if we edit this one uh, we see here that the management port here is selected so this is a bond which has multiple interfaces or which can have multiple interfaces and yes it looks like you're able to to add several interfaces here by default the management interface is added there are appliances with multiple management interfaces i suspect that all of the that management interfaces are then um, added we are missing one of the interfaces here and that's the sync interface and i'm not sure if we can see it directly with the secure crt uh, if not I, I will show you how to do this later so accept so here we also see that we have a new what is this called user mode you see it says global here so there are some new things some new changes uh show configuration still available but it's referring to like um let's see if i can see anything uh, out of the ordinary this is out of the ordinary <laughs> um so here we have the the sync interface or the sync start IP. So as far as I understand, the sync interface is I the IP addresses for the sync is uh, set automatically. I'm not sure if you can change it. You don't need to change this because these are not routable IP addresses. Um, they are purposely made for this type of things. And each cluster should have its own dedicated sync VLAN or physical network. So the need of doing that is limited. Um, I don't know why you would change from it because it will be it will be the same sync network for all the clusters, but the sync network could not be routed anywhere, so it shouldn't matter. Oh, maybe there is a reason for it, but I don't think so. We see here that we have this uh, Checkpoint Elastic Excel. It's called Central S01 and then 1. And we see here that we have the cluster, uh, cluster management where we can add multiple boxes. We want to add this with our, in our management station. And it's actually like this then. We are going to add... A normal gateway so we're not going to add a cluster or a vsx in this case it's just going to be a normal gateway and we do classic mode and we will take the name we will take the name so we have the same uh, this is the IP address that is closest to the management station and we will select that it's Elastic Excel communication and I did put checkpoint as the password it's a one-time password and trust establish okay so we see here that it uh, gets the new interfaces the mag and the ethernet uh, one 
So close. It's, it's listed here as well. And I think that's it for now. I normally do like this. I normally forward to log server at midnight. I create a new file at midnight as well. That's like the basic stuff that I, I do on a, on a gateway. Um, yeah. I disable this one because I don't think I have licenses for these boxes. Um, so this is an Elastic Excel. It's R82. Let's publish and let's see if we can install the policy. So install policy. Failed. Okay. Why is it failing? Natural three installed contain on a security zone. Okay. So um, the reason why it failed is because we have external zone here. An external zone is not um, selected anywhere on the cluster. So this is something that I have in my previous lab. If if this was a brand new installation, this wouldn't have happened. But to change this, we just need to go to network management and we take this external uh, interface and we do modify and we want to have it as a security zone, external zone. Okay. 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 <laughs> and then publish and install. And hopefully it should work now. So we see installation in progress. And installation done. So that's great. Uh, we could check if we can reach the internet and so on. Apparently we can. Apparently we cannot reach google.se. Maybe the DNS is not working. Maybe it's failing. We will troubleshoot that later. <laughs> 